you need to keep these pennies. Even in not so great condition, some of these coins can sell for hundreds of dollars, some cases even thousands of dollars. So first up, we are going to start with an older penny, get more modern here as we go. Uh, this coin is a 1909S wheat penny. Now this is not the 1909S with the VDB initials on the back of the penny. This is just the 1909 with the S mint mark underneath the date. Does not have the initials, the designer's initials on the reverse of the coin. I know reverse, a lot of people say, quit saying reverse. I know, I think it's just my accent. I say different words differently. I don't know, weird, I don't know. Don't ask me, but I'll say reverse for you guys. All right, so 1909S here, graded by NGC at an XF45 brown. So even though this coin doesn't look like much, in 1909 for just the S mint mark, they made only a little over 1.8 million of these coins. So it is a, you know, a key date coin, semi-key date, whatever you you want to classify it as, but it's not the 1909 S VDB where they only made 484,000 of those, uh, but it is going to be a key date because 1.8 million is still not a lot for a wheat penny in comparison to a lot of the other years. Take, for an example, the 1910 no mint mark. They made over 146 million. Of this 1909 S, only 1.8 million. So they are always going to sell and uh, always going to have value. If you find one in a coin collection you purchase, or maybe you inherit a coin collection from a family member, look for the 1909S and the 1909S VDB. This coin sold for $169, even in this condition. Now, if you get into higher graded examples of this coin, much better condition examples, uh, you're talking they could sell for thousands of dollars if they're at high mint state grades. Thousands. All right, so this is a 1911S wheat penny. So for the 1911S, it's not, you know, a super rare key date, but they did only make, you know, a little over 4 million of these coins. Yeah, like in bad condition, worn down, not really worth getting graded. Um, but even in this condition, this coin still sold for $139. So at an AU58 Brown, you're talking over a $100 penny. So just because, you know, it's not a high mint state grade doesn't mean that you shouldn't necessarily grade an example of a 1911S. If you have one that's, you know, in this condition or better, you know, you're talking over a $100 penny. So, you know, why not get something like this graded? So that's one to keep in mind. And then also the 1912D. So for the 1912D, they actually made quite a few of these. They made over 10.4 million of these coins. But because this coin is graded at a mint state 63 red brown, the coin sold for $312 at auction. So, you know, just because you have a 1912D doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be valuable. You know, if this coin was all worn down, like I say, in bad, rough condition, a lot of environmental damage or something, obviously it wouldn't be worth getting graded. But, you know, this coin isn't in the best condition either. It is graded at a mint state 63, um, but it's not that high mint state 67 or 68 or anything, you know, really crazy, but still a $300 penny there. Now this coin here, even in worse condition, it's uh, got damage to the coin. Uh, it's only graded at XF details as a result by NGC. But this is the 1914D, so this is a key date to look for. So they only made a little over 1.1 million, almost you know closer to 1.2 million for this coin. Um, so it is one that you want to look for, and in all kinds of conditions, it will always sell because people always need a 1914D for their collection. So this coin ended up selling for over $500, even though it has damage and doesn't have a grade. Um, so yeah, always look for the 1914 D wheat penny. That is a good one. Now here's another example kind of to compare it to, uh, this coin graded at a VG 10. Um, so a little worse condition, but you know, the coin, uh, has a grade by annex and the coin sold for, you know, $216 at auction. So $500 and $216, not too bad for a 1914 penny. All right, so next up is a 1916S. Now, this coin is not a super rare key date. They made over 22 million of the 1916 with the S mint mark. Uh, this penny, graded by PCGS at a mint state 64 brown, sold for $258 at auction. So, 
If you have one in this condition, you know it's probably worth getting graded if you think you can get a 64, um, even though it's graded at a brown. Keep in mind, you know, a brown is worse than getting a red brown or a red grade. So uh, here's an example from Spruce Crafts. Kind of shows you the difference between a brown, red brown, and a red penny. That is what the coin grading companies are going to grade your pennies as, and a red is always going to be better than a red brown and a brown. Red brown going to be better than a brown in most cases, right? So this coin sold for $258, graded at that Mint State 64 brown. Now here's a 1925S with the same exact grade, Mint State 64 brown. In 1925, for the S Mint mark, they made over 26 million of these coins. So again, it's not rare to have a 1925S wheat penny. Uh, it's not a key date coin. This coin does not have any mint errors or mistakes or anything. Um, but the coin sold for $384 because it has a Mint State 64 grade. So if you think you have one in this condition, maybe worth getting graded. We'll hop over to PCGS.com in a minute and show you grade populations and see um, you know, how you can tell if you should get your penny graded or not. Um, you know, you really got to study grading, you know, uh, and have an eye for it, um, to know if your coin is going to be able to get, you know, a specific grade or kind of in that area, in that ballpark. But this next coin here is a 1926S. Now for the 1926S, they made over 4.5 million. So it's actually a better one. Um, you know, it's not a super rare key date, but it is a better one. 1926S Mint Mark Wheat Penny graded by PCGS at a Mint State 63 red, sold for over $2,600, nearly a $3,000 penny. I mean, that is incredible. $3,600 there, and it is graded at that red, so keep that in mind. That helps the value tremendously. Mint State 63 red. Now, here's a 1928S Wheat Penny. So they made over 17 million of these. So again, pretty common a uh, wheat penny here, but it is graded at a red brown and it's got a grade of a 63, Mint State 63 by NGC. So that is where all the value is at for this coin. This coin ended up selling for $264 at auction. And now we finish off with a more modern coin, a 1985D Mint Mark. Well, we're not finished. We're gonna look at PCGS and show you guys uh, the different charts. So here's a 1985D Mint Mark Lincoln Cent. Now, what could be so special about a 1985 penny? You could find these in pocket change or from the bank all day long, uh, but the coin sold for over $2,000 recently at auction because it is graded at a Mint State 69 red. Remember that grade, Mint State 69 red, because we're going to hop over here to PCGS.com. And we're going to go to Pop Report at the top of the screen. We're going to click on United States here. We're going to scroll down to Cents, Half Cents. We're going to go to Lincoln Cent Modern, 1959 to date. And we're going to go all the way down and go over to the next page. See if we can get the 1985 D Mint Mark is what we were looking for. Uh, that we just looked at, so it will be on the next page, page three. All right, 1985, we're almost there, and that was a red grade, so, all right, so we got, all right, I'll highlight this here, 1985 D Mint Mark. All right, so you can see here, at a brown, which you shouldn't grade in 1985 if it's at a brown, that doesn't really matter. That's why you only see a few of them graded. You see the 62, 63, 64 at the top, and you see only four. Four has been graded at a 62, three at a 63, and one at a 64. Now, those aren't going to be valuable in a brown, so let's just skip to a 1985D with the red. You'll see the red brown there, and then you'll see the red. RD stands for red. RB, red brown, BN, brown. All right, so we're on the 1985 D Mint Mark red grade. Now, this is at a Mint State 63. Six of those has been graded. 17 of a 64 has been graded. 61 of a 65 has been graded uh, or have got that grade. Now, you'll see the numbers really ramp up here on Mint State 66s. 
So people have sent these in trying to get that perfect Mint State 70 grade or the Mint State 69 grade because they want to have the top, the highest graded example of that coin, right? Um, so you'll see people sent these in, and unfortunately, 338 people got a grade of a 66, not what they were hoping for. So there's a lot of those out there, 338 graded at a 66, not going to be valuable. Mint State 67, one grade up. There's even more of those graded at a 67. So very common to have it at a 67. It's very risky when grading, uh, as you see, grading modern coins like this because you got 780 people that, grade, that sent it in and got a grade of a 67. So they're not going to be valuable because there's so many of them at that grade. Same with the 68. Now, some coins, uh, it's hard, very, very difficult to get a 68 grade. But for a modern penny like the 1985, pretty uh, easy to get that, right? 280 is at a 68. Now, the 69 is where it really starts getting catchy here. Is uh, where it really starts getting difficult, I guess you could say. There's only 10 of these 1985 D mint marks that have been graded at a mint state 69. So there's only 10 that exist right now uh, from PCGS in existence. So there's only 10 of those that exist at a mint state 69. Now, I don't see anything for 70, so I'm assuming zero. No perfect grades on those. So that is the highest graded example of the 1985D mint mark. Now, you can go back here to the price guide and go down to Lincoln Cents. Go to Modern again. And we'll go all the way down. We'll click on page three. Well, let's go to page two on this example. And you can go down for the price guide of a 1985D mint mark here. And you can see it's at a red. And you can see the difference in values here. At a 69, $2,450. At a 68, only $65. Now, if you look underneath the RD there, it has a little plus symbol. So that means if you got it at a 68 plus, you're looking at $425. Big difference from a 65 and a 65 plus. So again, uh, the penny that we looked at sold for a little over $2,000. They have it listed at $2,450, which is a prior price that it has sold for. So you can actually click on that and click all right here. And you can see when this coin has sold at a 69. Back in 2005, it sold at $600, went up to $1,000, $1,500, $2,000. 27 reached all the way up to $3,150, $3,150 for a 1985D mint mark penny graded at a mint state 69 red in 2013. And then in 2021, it uh, started coming back down, and now the value is at around the $2,000 range, $2,400 is what they have it listed for here. Um, so you can use that kind of to your advantage and see the sales over time. But it is uh, kind of on the downward trend right now um, for the 1985D Minute Mark. So, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. We're showing you guys rare coins that are worth money every single day. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comments section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.